This is how hackers are using AI to hack you and how to prevent them. First, I want to do a bit of a debrief on the overall cyber threat landscape, especially with the rise of AI tools and advancements in AI technology. And the fact that these tools are now a lot more accessible to the average person, where you can literally go generate you content that could potentially be used in a malicious hack. So first, why does this matter? Especially to someone who is just starting out in cybersecurity, but also to those who are currently working in cyber. Well, if you're in group number one, then this video will give you ideas into what skills that you should be learning to be able to prevent these attacks and also increase your chances of getting hired. And if you're currently working in cybersecurity, then this is going to really benefit you to understand how attackers are changing their strategies using AI. So here's what's going on. Thank you to Veronis for sponsoring this video. Yes, cyber threats are becoming more advanced, more sophisticated, and more targeted. There's also an uptick in state-sponsored cyber attacks that may be running specific campaigns targeted against certain government organizations or organizations that have a wider reach or impact in sectors like education, healthcare, and finance. There's also an uptick in cyber crime as a service, which basically you can think of this as someone who goes on the dark web and hires a cyber criminal or a hacker to potentially DDoS a website or create a targeted phishing campaign against a specific organization or even a specific person. Now, what this means is that cyber attacks are now more accessible to less skilled threat actors who may be going online and paying someone with Bitcoin to run these cyber attacks. Okay, so with this, how exactly are attackers using AI as part of their attack strategies? One of the most common ways they're doing this is by using AI for advanced phishing campaigns, deep fake scams, and just general automated hacking. If you guys have seen examples of videos of deepfakes just in the past year or two, it's really uncanny how much this technology has advanced just in the past few years. So I really do think that this is something that you really need to worry about, especially considering in the future where you could potentially get a FaceTime call, for example, and it could be a video of someone that you know with a fake voice changer also used to match the voice of the person they're impersonating as if it was that person actually calling you. There are so many ways that this could be exploited and it really does take deepfake scams to a whole nother level because back then, deepfake technology were mostly used to impersonate people who are well-known figures who are in positions of power, maybe politicians, maybe celebrities, but now considering how accessible deepfake technology is to a malicious actor who may not even have any technical skill set, are able to use deepfake tools that are already out there and make a pretty convincing deepfake in real time. So in general, AI generated video, deepfake videos are going to be a huge thing to look out for as part of various different AI powered scams, ransomware attacks, highly sophisticated phishing attacks, and not only at a corporate level, but also at the individual level. Number two is zero day attacks. There's been a surge in the number of unknown vulnerabilities that have been exploited in the wild before a patch is available. And this is another way that attackers are using AI tools to basically find and exploit the vulnerabilities in software that is out there for vulnerabilities that weren't previously known to the public that they were able to take advantage of. And with the rise of different AI tools, this is happening at a much faster speed compared to before. Number three is ransomware attacks, where attackers can use multiple different extortion methods to be able to trick someone to download ransomware into their device, whether it be through text and email or even voice and video. So basically having three avenues, potentially all three together to increase the chances of a successful ransomware attack. And number four, supply chain attacks where attackers are focusing on targeting big organizations or third-party vendors that have access to the information of multiple different customers and clients and using those smaller organizations that may also have smaller security teams, potentially less protective measures in place on the cybersecurity side to be able to get access into the bigger organizations and clients like the big tech companies, the finance companies, government organizations, etc. As they say in cybersecurity, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And with third-party vendors, that can oftentimes be the weakest link for a lot of different organizations that are bigger that may have very secure networks, their devices are locked down, all their users and employees may have gone through vigorous security and phishing training, but all it takes is just one person, one vendor, one potential weak link to allow a malicious actor onto your network. And finally, number five is cloud and API threats. As businesses migrate to cloud environments and attackers are using AI to exploit misconfigurations within their cloud environments, as well as unsecured APIs. Now, another really scary one is AI-powered malware, where an AI basically integrates machine learning to be able to adapt, learn, and evolve in real time. This means malware as you know it is going to be insanely different in the next five to 10 years. For example, traditional malware is just one piece of software. It's typically not going to be changing, maybe potentially to avoid detection, but for the most part, the actual software is not changing. But now with AI powered malware, attackers can use AI to automate reconnaissance, evade detection, and optimize your attack strategies in real time. So this is going to be really scary. There could be scenarios where a cybersecurity or incident response team may think that a piece of malware was detected, quarantined, eradicated, but if it was AI powered malware, 
then there could be a possibility that the malware was able to evolve and avoid detection. So I do think that the resilience of cybersecurity teams and specifically cybersecurity tools is going to be really, really important here. And now that we've covered a lot of different attack avenues for malicious actors to be able to take advantage of different vulnerabilities or exploits enhanced by AI, what are some ways to prevent them? Because this is going to be what you'll be focusing on as a cybersecurity professional. And this is where I want to introduce Veronis AI security tools. So one of the biggest concerns for organizations is making sure that when you're deploying AI, that you're doing so securely so that you don't leak any sensitive information because I'm sure you guys all have experience using different AI tools, but any information that you're sharing to different AI models or AI agents can and likely is being stored on their servers. So obviously when it comes to sensitive and confidential information, you most likely don't want that information out there. So Veronis helps accelerate AI adoption with complete visibility and control over AI tools and workloads to make sure that you're deploying your AI securely. This includes co-pilots, large language models, and GPTs. Veronis prevents sensitive data exposure via AI copilots like Microsoft 365 Copilot and Salesforce Agent Force. And you can also secure AI workloads in large data stores like AWS, Azure, and Snowflake. You can also control your AI blast radius by visualizing AI's sensitive data access, revoking excessive permissions, and fix any risky AI configurations using Veronis. It also allows you to monitor, classify, and apply sensitivity labels on AI-generated content and monitor any prompts and give you alerts on any suspicious activity. And of course, above all else, keeping your sensitive information out of LLMs so that the company's private information stays private. Veronis for Microsoft 365 Copilot is the industry's first purpose-built cybersecurity solution to secure Microsoft's AI-powered productivity tool before and after deployment. This includes monitoring Copilot prompts, responses, and data access in real time, detecting any abnormal Copilot interactions, and automatically limiting access to sensitive information by both human and AI agents. And the same goes for Salesforce Agent Force. So, Basically, the goal is to make sure that your data stays secure, even from the AI agents, while your teams are still able to take advantage of AI and the newest advancements. Okay, so now that we've covered how to secure AI deployments, how can you prevent AI-driven cyber attacks as a cybersecurity professional? First, I want to share a free on-demand webinar on data security for a gen AI world. This is going to cover all the foundations of what you need to know to stay secure and protect your data, your users, and your applications as gen AI becomes more advanced. I'll have the free on-demand webinar from Veronis linked in my description and you can also get CPE credits after completing the webinar. So I highly recommend checking it out. Whether you're a beginner or currently working in cybersecurity, there's going to be a lot that you can learn from this webinar. So in terms of defending against AI-driven cyber attacks, there's going to be a lot that goes into this, especially given the way that network perimeters are expanding for most modern organizations. When you have data, users, customers, and applications across different cloud environments, across different container environments, across physical data centers and servers. So there's definitely a much larger attack surface that you have to worry about, which means you have to think about AI powered threat detection and response, zero trust, endpoint security, network security, threat intelligence, identity access management, authentication security, like switching over to pass keys, supply chain and API security. The list goes on, but you get it. There's a lot that goes into this. There really isn't a one pill that fixes everything in terms of you do this one thing and you'll be secure forever. If that were true, then there wouldn't be a need for cybersecurity teams, but there's no such thing as being 100% resistant to hacking unless you're talking about a completely air-gapped system with no access in or out. But in most cases, this isn't realistic as companies and organizations in the real world have to allow employees to log in potentially from home or working remotely. So all these things also include different attack vectors. And that is basically where you come in as a cybersecurity professional to be able to defend against those attacks. Now, I also wanted to share Athena AI, which uses natural language to conduct in-depth investigations and analyzes more efficiently to transform users of all skill levels into cyber defenders. Athena AI is embedded within the Veronis data security platform and appears in various user interfaces to drastically speed up security and compliance tasks to close the cyber skill gap. This means when you submit a query to Athena AI, it'll retrieve the context from Veronis customers' metadata and send an augmented prompt to Azure OpenAI. Once a response is received, Athena AI will then update the context using the customer's metadata and then return a formatted response. This includes tools like an AI SOC analyst. This is becoming a huge hot topic right now, especially considering how a lot of parts of an SOC can be automated to AI and can also lead to more effective instant response and faster and more efficient alert handling and log analysis. It also includes natural language search. So you can search things like, do we have any files containing passwords that are open to the internet rather than having to write and structure a query? 
And because Athena AI is built on Azure OpenAI, it doesn't use any customer data to train its models so that you know that you always have data privacy and your information is always confidential. Honestly, there's so much that goes into Gen AI and, and AI-driven cyber attacks and how to prevent these attacks, which is another reason why I highly recommend attending their on-demand webinar on data security for a Gen AI world. And it's free, so you have nothing to lose and a lot to gain from watching it. Okay, so what is the flip side of all of this? We've heard about the bad, we've heard about the preventatives, but what about the pros? Are there any good things that are coming out of AI? And my answer to that is, of course there is. AI is making learning, it's making materials, it's making tools and resources a lot more accessible to everyone, not just the bad guys, but also the good guys. And I've already shared this before, but if you're interested in cloud security, AI security, data security in general, Veronis also has free cybersecurity training on this for any level, whether you're a beginner or if you're already a experienced cybersecurity professional and want to learn more about this topic and how to secure your users, your data, your applications in the cloud or elsewhere, I highly recommend checking out their free training. I'll also link that below in my description. It is one of the best areas for you to upskill and be able to learn something new, especially with how rapidly AI and AI advancements are changing. AI security is probably the number one skill that you can learn as a cybersecurity professional in this day and age. So yes, AI may be powering cyber crimes, but it is also powering cybersecurity learning and the accessibility of those learning resources. For example, I can go on ChatGPT and ask it to create me a project guide for learning Burp Suite. It'll do that for me completely for free. And I can just get the community edition of Burp Suite and just practice all my own in my own home lab that I've also built for free using VirtualBox and Kali Linux. You know, like nowadays accessibility is the number one thing for learners. And I think cybersecurity does a great job with that because there's so many tools that are open source that have community editions or maybe free editions for students and learners. A lot of the cloud environments also have free credits for you to be able to spin up your own environment and be able to test out different tools and learn about cloud environments and their infrastructure. So there's a lot of learning resources out there that you can take advantage of even as a complete beginner. And this is where I'll leave you guys off on. There's so much exploring to do, so much learning to do, and I really hope you take advantage of all the learning resources I've mentioned in this video and linked in my description, because these can be the foundation of your future cybersecurity skills, no matter what area in cybersecurity that you're going into or you're currently working in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. I would love to hear your comments and any questions on this in the comments below. AI is definitely a heavy topic right now, and not just affecting the job markets, but overall how cybersecurity teams prevent and defend against cyber attacks. Don't forget to also check out the data security and Gen AI webinar from Veronis. It's a really great resource to dive deeper into these topics. If there are any other video topics you'd like to see from me in the future, let me know in the comments below as well. I'm happy to add those into my video backlog. Also, as you can see, I'm in a different background today. So I'm currently in the city, but I think by the next video, I will probably be back to the standard background. But hopefully this looks kind of cozy, kind of you know, kind of nice. But thank you guys so much for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. Don't forget to also stay connected on LinkedIn, Discord, Instagram, all linked in my description. I share more real-time resources. I basically post every day on those platforms. So if you're looking to stay connected, definitely follow the links below. Thank you again to Veronis for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.